We are seeing more cancellations and delays at airports around the country, uh, and that includes Detroit Metro Airport. Yeah, it was a chaotic Christmas weekend for travelers, and Nick Monticelli has been talking with folks traveling or trying to out there. Nick, what are they telling you? Yeah, trying to being that key word, and, and he mentioned it, there's that domino effect, right? So you've got 400 flights canceled on Friday, 120 or so on Saturday, and now the airline's just trying to play catch up with everything that happens. So right now, honestly, things aren't that bad. There's about 45 cancellations, close to 10 delays. Now, all things considered, that's pretty good. We want that number to be zero, but it is what it is for right now. Take a look at this video here at 6.30 in the morning. The most iconic image right now was the one downstairs, two floors below me, where this stack of luggage still sits, either trying to get its way to its owners or trying to get its way to another city where the owners might be, like our own Karen Drew, who is on a beach somewhere in Florida, but without any luggage. It's probably somewhere in this stack right here. Now, as I mentioned, again, there's 45 cancellations right now. We do not anticipate that number to go up at this point. They think they've got a handle on the flights themselves. It's just the backlog that they are trying to work through. Now, talking to the people who are here today, there's a good mix of those who are just traveling, and this is their first time here. They haven't had any issues. They have a smile on their face, and they're good to go. There are others who are a little frustrated because their flights were canceled, and this is their second or third or for some their fourth time trying to get on a flight and get to wherever wherever it is they're going. Then there's this couple I talked to who they are trying to get to their honeymoon in Denver. So we're going to Denver. Um, we got a text at like 1030 that it was just canceled. I'd been checking it religiously because I was worried about this happening. Um, so now we're going into Salt Lake City and hanging out there for like 10 hours. So are you frustrated or do you, do you just deal with it? I'm totally going to deal with it, but like I'm upset as evidenced by my puffy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but you made the best of it, right? Yes. Yeah. It'll be fine. It just is an unfortunate circumstance. So yeah. are you kicking yourself or delaying the honeymoon? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I asked that because they actually got married a month ago and decided to postpone their honeymoon until after the holidays because they wanted to be home for all the hustle and bustle and all the shopping they had to do. But Jason Grant, you think about, you know, the things that people are going through, you know, here to Denver is a straight shot. Salt Lake City, that, that's the opposite direction. You're going the wrong way. But that's what a lot of people are doing just to try to get to that final destination. Like you, if you remember half an hour ago, we talked to the guy who is trying to get home from Paris. Home was Minnesota. Somehow we ended up in Detroit and he's trying to get there too. Yeah, it's just amazing. And uh, luckily for that couple, I mean, this will be the only bump in married life. So, I mean, they have that. Of course, that's it. Right. right. One and done. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Nick, we'll talk to you again soon.